first open settings on Slabware. Then go to integration QuickBooks. Here you click on connect and a pop-up will appear and you click on the link so you can log in with your QuickBooks account. If you have more than one company linked to that account, you can choose the company you're syncing. Now that you're connected, you can refresh the page and you'll be able to set up. Here, you check all the information you want to sync with QuickBooks. You can choose the ones you want to be synced and the ones you don't. Now you can refresh the page to save the information. Here, you can choose to leave it on or off. If you leave it on, every bundle added on Slabware will be automatically synced to QuickBooks. If you leave it off, you won't. This one works the same way, but it's for integrated cost. If you leave it on, the integrated cost will be synced automatically with the Slab cost. Here you can set up a date and every bundle that is registered before the date won't be synced with QuickBooks. If you want to clear, you just have to click on the date and it will be clear. This one is the same idea, but it works with orders. Every order with the date prior to the one you chose won't be synced with QuickBooks. Here you can check all the information if you want to sync Slabware to QuickBooks and QuickBooks to Slabware. Here you can check if you want to sync when the order status is delivered and here to sync when the shipping date is filled. Here you can choose a date and click here to close all the orders created before the date. And here you can click to finish all the containers.